Glory to God. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name. Father, we're glad to be back here one more time. Friends of God, we're glad to be back with you. We're glad to be back. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ, we're glad to be back. My name is Minister Errol Trench from Trench Altar Ministry, a circumstances changer. To God be the glory. Welcome back one more time to Trench Altar Ministry. Welcome back to Trench Altar Ministry. You made it. Amen. You made it. To God be the glory. You made it, friends. You made it. You made it. Another time, another location. You made it. Praise God. You made it. If you were here last week and you're here this week, you made it. Glory. One more time, welcome back to Trench Altar Ministry. I am telling somebody that you made it. Hallelujah. If you can hear me and you heard me last week, you made it. Somebody need to say praise be to the Almighty God. If you were here last week when we broadcast and you're here one more time and listen to this broadcast, you made it. To God be the glory. You made it, friends. To God be the glory. You made it. By the mercies of the Almighty God, you made it. The enemy may never wanted you to make it, but you made it. You're here with us one more time. You made it. Praise be to the Almighty God. I wish somebody would just lift your hands and say, To God be the glory. I made it. Wherever you are around the world, lift your hands to the Almighty God and say, I made it. Why am I speaking about I made it? Why am I speaking about you made it? Because if you're here last week and you're here this week, you made it. Glory to God. Glory to God. Praises and honor belongs to Him. You made it. Ah, start shouting now. Start giving praise now. You made it, friends. Hallelujah. You made it. Give honor to the name of Jesus Christ. You made it. If you were here last week with us, and you're here one more time with us, you made it. I'm talking to somebody. I hope you can hear me. If you were here last week and trench altar ministry and listen to our material and you're here again, you made it. Somebody need to hear me. Somebody need to lift their hands and say, to God be the glory, I made it. Not only you made it, but I made it because I'm here again. You made it. Glory to God. The enemy may not always want us to make it, but you made it. Errol, I'm not feeling so well, but yes, you made it. Week to week, Trench Altar Ministry release broadcasts. And if you're here, heard it last week, and you're listening to it this week, you made it. To God be the glory. To God be the glory. Great things he have done. You made it. Tell, tell yourself you made it. And if somebody is with you, wherever you are right now, tell them I made it. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Shout now while you have the chance. Said I made it. If you were here with us last week, and you're here with us this week, you made it. Mm, put the devil to shame and said, I made it. Hallelujah. Put the enemy to shame and lift your hands to the Almighty God and said, I made it. To God be the glory. Yes, I made it. Yes, 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 yes. I made it. The enemy may not necessarily want you and I to go by, get by. 
There's a song that I'll sing often. So I'm waiting, and it's not mine, but I adopted it. I'm waiting down here by the river. Will you come, Lord Jesus? Satan don't want me to cross. I'm waiting down here by the river. Will you come, Lord Jesus? Satan don't want me to cross. But I'm telling you, if you heard us last week, and you're listening to us this week, tell somebody that you made it. Tell somebody we made it. I made it. I'm back. One more time. To God be the glory. To God be the glory. I made it. 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 To God be the glory. Tell somebody. Ha. Ah, I made it. Tell somebody, friends. I made it. If you can, if you can give somebody a high five, I mean. I'm on the set, but give somebody a high five and say, I made it. To God be the glory. We're coming up very close to the end of 2020. And one of the beauty about the ending of, an e ending of the year, you hear people sing at the end of the year. Happy New Year. I shouldn't say those words yet because you know what I meant. But I will tell you something. When you make a new day, happy new day. Oh Lord. When you make a new week, you ought to shout, happy new week. And when you made it, exit one month and made it to the next month, happy new month. To God be the glory. I don't know, I feel like somebody need to tell somebody, I made it. I mean you. And if you're dear wife and husband, tell somebody, honey, we made it. Hallelujah. And if it's only you and your children, turn to them and say, we made it. I'm waiting down here by the river. Will you come, Lord Jesus? Satan don't want me to cross. Satan don't want me to cross. I'm waiting down here by the river. Will you come, Lord Jesus? If you don't come to my rescue, I'll be lost. Tell somebody, I made it. Tell somebody, you made it. To God be the glory. You made it. You made it, 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 you made it. Shout now while you have the chance. If there's anything that the enemy could do and enjoy doing it, is covering up your mouth. If there's anything that the enemy could do Hallelujah. If there's anything that the enemy could do, he would love to cover your mouth if you are a shouter. Hallelujah. If you are one that loves to shout praises to the Lord, the enemy would love to shut your mouth. And for those of you who do not give honor to God, for those of you who do not shout, the enemy don't worry about you. Because the enemy said, I got you right where I want you. No need to shout. But shouters, praisers, hallelujah. Tell somebody, you made it. Tell somebody that I made it in the name of Jesus Christ. What a beautiful day. What a beautiful day. I made it in the name of Jesus. I made it in the name of the Almighty God. I made it by the power of Jesus Christ. I made it by the power of the Holy Spirit. I made it. To God be the glory. Tell somebody, ah, I don't know why am I unto this, but you ought to shout now. You ought to shout now. Glory. There are people who love to shout, but they can't. For reason or the other, they can't. But I'm telling you, tell somebody that I made it. Not me, as me, Minister Errol, but as you, as I, I made it. There's another song. We come this far by faith. Leaning on. <laughs> Hallelujah. Sometimes when I come on and these songs come to mind, I wish I could have a band behind me to back me up. I remember our choir used to sing and it was a song every time. Sometimes it's a, it's a crusade song. Sometimes it's a rally song. And they said, we come this far by faith. <laughs> oh Lord. Leaning on his, I, I, I wish I could 
say it right now, but I'm telling somebody, tell somebody. Mm. I'd love to have all my choir leaders them here now. All my choir directors them now. So many of you out there know who I'm talking about. We come this far by faith. My God, my God, my God. My God. I'm excited because I made it. I'm excited because I made it. Hallelujah. Do not let the enemy. Do not let the enemy. Let me find a piece of paper here. Not my paper. But do not let the enemy have any check mark. There goes one. Good. There goes another. Good. If you are a shouter. That's what he would like to do. But I'm telling you something. People of praise. People of worship. People that love to call on the name of Jesus Christ. When you get from one side to the other. Said I made it. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of the power of the almighty God. I made it. Yes I. Errol made it. Yes I. Trench made it. Hmm. I'm not saying it won't happen. But at this very moment. Nobody. Is saying to me right now. Well good. Well done good and faithful servant. I'm still here. To do more. I made it. I made it. I made it. So I've run the race. And the race have, the race came to an end. And they will not run anymore. There's no more race to run. And they've done their work. They've done their work. And rightfully so. Rightfully so. They've accomplished the work. That the Lord God Almighty have appointed them to do. But I hope to the Almighty God. That you as you're hearing me now. And hearing these words. I hope. That you. Not only that. You will hear well done good and faithful servant. Not only that you will hear. But I hope to God. That if you're hearing my voice now clearly. I hope. That you will start do something for God if you're not doing it yet. And if you are doing something, keep on keeping on. To God be the glory. To God be the glory. One of the things that I talk to people about all the time. I said to people, Trench Altar Ministry is a building, is an altar building ministry. That prays big altars across the country. Build altars across the city. Build altars around our city. Build altars around our community. Build altars and call upon the name of Jesus Christ. That is Trench Altar Ministry. Trench Altar Ministry prayed for families around the world. Establish altars and pray to the Almighty God and call upon the name of Jesus Christ. For you and for me. Call upon the name of the Almighty God. For your family and my family. For calling upon the name of Jesus Christ. For those in whom I know. And those in whom I do not know. Trench altar ministry. This glamour. Looking glamour. Is not what trench altar ministry is all about. Trench altar ministry is about going out on highways and byway. At various time of our treacherous moment. And praying. For people. This is not trench altar ministry. This is only something. That God allow. To do. But trench altar ministry. Is going out in the highways and byway. And declare the name of Jesus Christ. And I hope you are doing everything that you can. For Jesus. I hope you are doing everything that you can. For the master. I hope you are doing everything that you can. For Jehovah Jireh. While I'm at it. A couple days ago. I was very honored that. A minister joined me. Someone in ministry joined me. At an altar. Now not often anyone goes to. The altars with me. No sir. Because. These altars. Are extremely meaningful they're sensitive just like your altar but it was 
was okay. It's not the first time I've done it, but it was okay. Now, I would assume it was minus about, let's say, minus 20. Or 20, let's say minus 20, 25. Let's say that. Now, I would not take someone to war with me. This was about 11 o'clock at night. I would not take someone to war with me and put them in the bottle. So they sat and relaxed and praised the Lord in a, an enclosed area, which is the vehicle. But I don't go to the altar to sit in the car or whatever I'm driving. I'm out beating the pavement, praying and declare the name of Jesus Christ. Now when I said the person was sitting in because they did not prepare for that kind of weather. Because it was cold. And I went out and for one and a half hour I'm outside praising the Lord and praying for our community. Now I'm not saying that for anyone to think anything. God don't, all, God don't call us to do the same thing. But ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, that is trench altar ministry. This is nothing compared to what that is. Everything that happened there is the, the, the everything that happened here is the value of what happened at the altar. I hope somebody catch me I'm coming from. About an hour and a half later, as a matter of fact, I should say about 40, half an hour in prior, I got some help and the help that I needed because the Holy Ghost decided to make sure that my petition is good and my petition is clear. So we'll continue to share some of this stuff as we talk about the laws and we will continue to talk about trust and obey. Trust and obey. Indeed, we speak of the, the public sectors and the private sectors and what it is regarding the place of employment. There are some areas that I would like to cover very fast as time is going away rapidly. And there are some areas that of laws that is laid down. And one of them I'd like to start off with is trust in the Lord with all your heart. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. And lean not unto our own understanding. This is found in Proverb 3.5. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not to our own understanding. In today's society, it seems as if it is easier to lean to our own understanding than to lean to the things of God. It won't seem as if the Bible has been replaced. It won't seem as if man's understanding is greater but not so the word of the almighty god in proverb 335 stated trust in the lord with all your heart and lean not unto your own understanding and this is coming out of proverb 3 5. again like i said it's very easy for us today everybody has to have their own opinion these days, don't it? Lean not. And but the word of the Almighty God is saying in Proverbs 3 5, lean not unto your own understanding. There's another area that it said, and again we're talking about obedient. Obedient. Hallelujah. We're talking about those areas. Let's try this one. As a matter of fact, before I jump away from this, Peter answered, 
Might as well I, I sh let me start it off with this. Peter answered. Peter. Everybody know Peter, one of Jesus' disciples. Then Peter and the other disciples, or the other apostles, answered and said, We are to obey God rather than man. At this moment in time, that was when, as I would say, the teachers are those who just could not understand the way of Jesus Christ. And they asked Peter not to preach or not to teach in that name. But Peter and the other apostles answered and said, We are to obey God rather than man. Today it's actually want to seem as the other way around, but nothing has changed from Peter days until now. In, first, in John 14, 15, it has been said, If he love me, this is Jesus speaking in these terms, keep my commandment. If you love me, keep my commandment. It is sometimes stated that when we love somebody or love individual, we try to do something to please them. For those of us who have spouses, we do the same. If our spouse realizes that we do are doing the opposite, then he or she would have to question, do you love me? And Jesus here is saying, if you love me, you will keep my commandment. In 1 John 2, 3, and hereby we know that we know him. And here, and hereby, we do know that we know him if we keep his commandment. Again, it's back to his commandment. Just like the laws of the land. Just like being obedient, like I spoke earlier before. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's go on to Romans 13. That goes on to Romans 13. And that would be at 1. Romans 13, 1. Let every soul be subject unto the higher power. Let every soul be subject unto the higher powers for there is no power but of God the powers that be are ordained of God let's go down to Ephesians 6 1 and here we talking about obedient here we talking about obedient In the Bible stated in Ephesians 6 1 and I think every parent would agree with this and probably this is one area that maybe parent or probably most parent would like to relate to the Bible it said children obey your parent in the Lord I believe every parent know that verse Ephesians 6 1 it said children obey your parent Parents, in the Lord, for this is right. I believe every parent's now just about saying amen. Down in Proverbs it said, in all thy ways acknowledge him. In all thy ways acknowledge him. And he shall direct thy path. This is now picked up down in Proverbs 6, 3, 6. Down a little further, or maybe a little further in the Bible. And they that know thy name will put their trust in thee. For thou, Lord, has not forsaken them that seek thee. This will be found 
in Psalms 9 10 another area and this is about trust obedient and all of those things hallelujah for I know the thought that I make that I think towards you this is the Lord speaking says the Lord through thought of peace imagine the Lord is thinking his thought for you is peace and not evil for I know the thought that I think towards you imagine that says the Lord thought of peace and not evil to give you an expected end Jeremiah 29 11 ladies and gentlemen to those of you who are listening clearly the Lord think peace for you let's go on a little further the Lord is my strength and my shield my heart trusted in thee in him and I am helped hallelujah therefore my heart greatly rejoice it and with my song I will sing praise and with my song I will sing praise Psalms 28 7 these are times when it is important to find a a comfortable place and these words in the Bible to keep you grounded and to keep you still for the Lord is my strength and my shield. What a time to read something like this. My heart trusted in him and I am helped. Hallelujah. Therefore my heart greatly rejoiceth, and my song will I sing. Praise. Hallelujah. I will sing praise. Hallelujah. Psalms 28.7 what a great time what a great time what a great time Jesus Christ the same yesterday today and forever check out Hebrew for that one Hebrew 8 Hebrew 13 8 Jesus Christ the same yesterday today and forever ladies and gentlemen I said it simple and I said it clear COVID do not affect the Lord Jesus Christ COVID do not affect the Lord God Almighty I said it last week and I'm saying it again he is the same yesterday today and forever it is said that down in Hebrew 13 8 let's check out Job though he slay me yet will I trust him can you say that hope you're not on the slain end but can you say that Job say Though he slay me, yet will I trust him. But I will maintain mine own ways before him. Job 13, 15. Down a little further, or somewhere else, commit thy way unto the Lord. Trust also in him, and he shall bring it to pass. Psalms 37, 5. Commit thy way unto the Lord. Trust also in him, and he shall bring it to pass. Hallelujah. Thou shalt keep him in perfect peace. What a time for something like this. Thou shalt keep him in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on thee because he trusted in thee Isaiah 26 3 ladies and gentlemen the word of the Almighty God said thou will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on him because he trusted in thee hallelujah Isaiah 26 3 a little further it is better to trust in the Lord than to put your confidence in man what a good place for this one 
It is better to trust in the Lord than to put your confidence in man. Psalms 118.8 What a time for these words. You'd actually believe that these words are written after these things going on in today's society, won't it? But it is written before. It is better to put your trust in the Lord than to put your confidence in man. O oh Lord my God, indeed do I put my trust. Here we go again. Save me from all them that persecute me and deliver me. Psalm 7, 1. The Lord is my rock and my fortress, my deliverer, my God, my strength in whom I will trust, my buckle and my horn, my salvation and my high tower. Psalms 18, 2. It is good to know the word of the Almighty God. Jesus answered and said unto them, If any man, if a man love me, he will I keep, I'm sorry, he will keep my words. And my father, and my father will love him. And we will come unto him and make our abode with him. John 14, 23. My son, keep thy father's commandment. My son, keep thy father's commandment. And forsake not the law of thy mother. Every parent would love this one. Proverbs 6, 20. Hallelujah. And it shall come to pass, if thou, this thou, is probably one of the most love, respected, text of success and it shall come to pass if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe and to do all his commandment which I have commanded thee this day that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all the nations of the earth Deuteronomy 28 1 and he shall walk in all the way which the Lord your God has commanded you, that you may live and trust, and that you may, I'm sorry, let me take that all over again. He shall walk in all the way which the Lord your God had commanded you, that he may live and that it may be well with you. Hallelujah. It may be well with you praise be to God and that he may prolong your days in the land which you shall possess Deuteronomy 5 33 so there are some instructions that the Lord God gave to those when he took them out of Israel Egypt and as you are in your city the good Lord is sending these words for you just as he gave it to the Israelites hallelujah Hallelujah. He, um, oh, this one is beautiful. He have not chosen, you have not chosen me, but I have chosen you. Hallelujah. And ordain you that you should go and bring forth fruit, and that your fruit should remain, that whosoever shall ask of the Father in my name, he may give it to you. John 15, 16. Beautiful. Beautiful. He shall, he have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordain you that you should go and bring forth fruit, that your fruit should remain, that, whoso, that whatsoever he shall ask of me, of the Father, in my name, which is the name of Jesus Christ, it may be given it to you. He may be given it to you. John 15, 16. Therefore, hallelujah, my beloved brethren, be he steadfast and movable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. For as much as he know that your 
Labor is not in vain in the Lord. Isn't that nice? Isn't that nice? Therefore, my beloved brethren, be he steadfast and movable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, for as much as he know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. 1 Corinthians 15, 58. They said, only what is done for Christ will loss. Only what is done for Christ will loss. And he and be not conformed to conform to this world, but he but he but be he transformed by the renewing of your mind that he may prove what which is good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Romans 12, 2. Hallelujah. Let's go down into the garden. Listen carefully. For as by one man disobedient many were made sinners so by the obedient of one shall many be made righteous Adam every man was made a sinner Jesus Christ everyone made and have the privilege to be righteous Romans 5 19 hmm what I say unto you which heard or hear love your enemies this is tough to do sometimes you know that already hmm love your enemies do good to them which hate you bless them that curse you and pray for them which despitefully use you. Luke 6, 27, 28. Uh, 27, 28, correct. It sometimes, I believe, each and every one of us need deliverance when it comes to this verse. The Bible said, Hallelujah. But I say unto you which hear, are heard, Love your enemies. Do good to them which hate you. Bless them who curse you. And pray for them which despitefully use you. Somebody can say amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There are many more, but let me wrap up with this one. Let me wrap up with this. Psalms 33, 18. Hallelujah. Behold, the eyes of the Lord is upon them that fear him. Upon them that hope in his mercies. To deliver their soul from death and to keep them alive in famine. Let me say that again. Psalms 33, 18. Behold, the eyes of the Lord is upon them that fear him. Hallelujah. Upon them that hope in his mercy to deliver their soul from death and to keep them alive in famine. Our soul watcheth for the Lord. He is our help and our shield. For our heart shall rejoice in him because we have trusted in his holy name. Let thy mercy, O Lord, 
be upon us according as we hope in thee. We trust that tonight something has been said. There's many more, but we trust that at least one of these that has been said will mean something to you. Again, my name is Minister Errol Trench from Trench Auto Ministry, a circumstances changer. We hope something that is said here tonight will be of benefit to you. We hope that something that is said tonight can help you and guide you in these troublesome times. We hope that the words that is that brought to you from the word of the Almighty God we hope can do something for you in this troubled time. I want to thank God for your time. I want to thank God that you chose to listen thus far. I want to thank the Lord for you. As you continue to worship with us, doesn't matter who you are, doesn't matter where you are, I want to thank God for you. That you continue to be patient. But I hope that something is said here tonight that can help you. I hope something is said here tonight that can put you in a better position. I hope something is said that can let you think that there is peace in the name of Jesus Christ. I hope what has been said here tonight, you do not just accept it at just some words, but realize that anything is in the word is meaningful to mankind. It's only obvious that today we need more. We need to learn more. We need to know more. Our faith needs to be stronger. We need to have higher belief and more belief in Him. Each and every hour, our thinking sometimes gets thrown off. If we just take a look at what's going on around us, it could be discouraging. But I want to tell you you can still stick to the word. You can still believe in the word. One of the areas that I read earlier, it said God is the same today, yesterday, and forever. That meant that it doesn't matter what's happening in today's society, He is the same. Hmm. The same. Sometimes you may feel as if your faith is going down in a nosedive. But the word said that he's the same yesterday, today, and forever. That cannot change. That will never change. Your government cannot change what's in here. Your lawmakers cannot change what is in this book. Your policy makers cannot change what is in this book. They could rip out every page and leave some page written it will always be so I'm encouraging you even though the storm may seem like it's the sea is getting a little rough 
stand born. Stand born. Stand born. In the midnight hour, you can call on him. Stand board. His word cannot change tomorrow. His word cannot change next year. His word cannot change. But the Lord said that he cannot and will not abandon his people. abandon you if you are looking to him for deliverance. There's somewhere in the Bible that said our hope is in the Lord and in the Lord only. There's somewhere it said trust in the Lord with all your might and with all your heart and with all your soul. Trust in Him. You don't need to run. You don't need to jump overboard. Trust in Him. The storm may be rough. Stand board. The storm may be rough, but I'm encouraging somebody to stand board. In this troubled time, somebody ought to move out the way, stand board. Kia. Stand board. Kia Shama. Stand board. The sea may be rough at this time, friend, but stand board. I want to tell somebody that you're in the master's plan. When the plague went through Egypt, and there was so tally to place, they said there was not one found missing. To those God have and need His coverage. There was not one. There was not one found missing in Egypt. You may say, Errol, that was then. It can't be the same today. The word of the Lord said, He is the same yesterday, today, and forever. It said, in all your ways, acknowledge Him. In all your ways, acknowledge Him. The Word said, lean not unto your own understanding. Moments like these, we want to lean to our own understanding. But the Word said, lean not to your own understanding. Some of us are running out to deal. Hope our accountant can put things together better. I will tell you the best accounting you will ever find. Lean not to your own understanding, but lean on the understanding of the Almighty God. He is the same yesterday, today, and forever. You don't need to change accountant to balance the book. Talk to the Savior. He is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Talk to Him. Just stay obedient. Just trust in Him. Trust and obey. As the topic said, 
trust and obey. Job said, yet though ye slay me, I will still trust. Can you say it like Job will? Though he slay me, I will still trust. Can he say it that way? Can you? Though he slay me, I will still trust him. Trust him in everything. Trust and obey. Wherever you are, my friends, lead not to your own understanding. All the Lord said, if you love me, you'll keep my commandment. Lean not to your own understanding. Hallelujah. Father, bless your people. Wherever they are in the world, bless them. Cover them underneath the blood of Jesus Christ. I pray that your hands will be upon them, oh God. Cover them. Around the world, cover them. Lean up to standing, friends. Oh God. Cover them, God. Cover them. Wherever they are in the world, cover them. Provide for them, my God. Cover them. Oh. Father, I pray now. Mm -hmm. Cover them, Jesus. Glory. Come by somebody somebody around the world. Cover them. Cover them. Mm. Oh Lord, cover them. Please, Jesus, cover somebody. Protect somebody. Shield somebody. Build an edge around somebody. Remember them. Remember us. Stand board, friends. Stand board. Lean not to your own understanding. Stand board. The sea may be rough, my friends, but I beg you, stand board. Stand board. Stand board. Lean up to your own understanding. Put your trust in Him night and day. He is the same yesterday, today, and forever. If you love me, He said, keep my commandment. I am the same yesterday and forever. That's what he said. Cover somebody. Oh God, cover them. Let your blood cover them. Wherever they are in the world, Lord Jesus, cover them. Job said, though he slay me, yet will I trust them. Though he slay me, yet will I trust him. 
cover somebody, Jesus. Under his blood, my life. Hide yourself underneath the blood of Jesus Christ. Hide yourself underneath his blood, my friends. Mm. The word said he's the same yesterday and forever. The same. He will never change. The government may change, but he will never change. Policies may change, but he will never change. The law may change, but he will never change. May God guide you, keep you, and protect you. May God make his face to shine up in you. May God bless your whole soul. May the Spirit of the Almighty God be with you and for you and around you and over you. The word said that he is your buckle and your shield. Lord God, I pray that you'll cover my family. Wherever they are, cover my children. Wherever they are. Cover the people of Trench Altar Ministry. Cover those who depend upon you. And even those who do not net know you. Cover them. Cover them. Until next time, friends, this is Minister Errol Trench from Trench Altar Ministry. His circumstances changing. Until next time, may God ever keep you in these days, in these times. May the good Lord be with you. May the good Lord be for you. May the good Lord stand with you. May the good Lord stand beside you. May the God of heaven hover over you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let his presence be known in your home. Let his presence be known in your workplace. Let his presence be known all around you. Glory. He is the Lord. The same yesterday, today, and forever. May the good Lord keep you. May the good Lord guide you. May the good Lord bless you. Until next time. My name is Minister Earl Trench from Trench Altar Ministry. A circumstances changer and your circumstances can be changed. Indeed. 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 Your circumstances can be changed. Your circumstances can be changed indeed. Your circumstances can be changed indeed. Your circumstances can be changed indeed. Let your peace, let your hope, let your joy be with them. Thank you. Thank you. Wherever you are in the world, friends, may the peace of the Almighty God be with you. This day, and forever. May the hope of Jesus Christ be with you. May the mercy of the Almighty God wrap around you, around your home, around your family. May you accept Him as your Jehovah Jireh. May God bless you. May God guide you. May God keep you. Covers underneath His the blood of Jesus Christ. His peace and His joy and His love and His prosperity and His hope and His kindness be with you. In Jesus' name. Until next time. Until
Until next time. To God be the glory. Amen.